your Bibles to the book of First Chronicles chapter number 29 from verse number 9 says Then the people rejoiced because these had given willingly Are you talking about people rejoicing for giving? It look impossible. We live in a world where people are manipulated to give. And so people give because they are told to give. And it's as if somebody had to pluck one finger out to open the hand to give. But these guys, look at it again. Verse number nine. Then the people rejoiced. Can you imagine? Then the people rejoiced because these had given willingly. When they gave, it wasn't by reason of compulsion. They gave because it came from the heart. No. When it comes to giving in glorious fountain, we don't care who you think you are. If you like, you give. If you like, you don't give. God's name will be glorified. We'd have no time spent, I mean, to pluck your hands out. No, we don't do that. The scripture says, these guys, they gave. And they became full of joy. Look at it. I'll never stop reading the word of God. The word of God is so powerful. Then the people rejoiced. That's it there. How many of us had come to the point when we rejoice in giving? You may not have rejoiced because you are not giving anything serious. Hmm. If you have to give something that costs you, you know whether you're giving or not. Look at it again. Then the people rejoiced because these had given willingly. Nobody forced them. They gave from the depth of their heart willingly. These had given willingly for with a whole and blameless heart. They had offered freely to the Lord. And now look, look at this again. With a whole and blameless heart. If we ask people to give or let's speak of you leaving this place to give or go to church tomorrow morning to give. Some people will be praying for the offering board to our past. <laughs> and some people will rejoice that they got there and the time for giving had passed. Some people will even calculate it for the time of giving to pass. Some people will wait back at home or somewhere else for the time of giving to pass. But these guys were different. Look at it again. They rejoiced. They rejoiced because it was time to give. You don't need to be unnecessarily anxious as though you were in your local church. Go, we're, not, we're not focusing on giving in the sense of the negative sense of giving. You give from the depth of your heart. But to whom are you giving? Now, I, I, I've looked at this again. If you're giving it to he who owned the gold and the silver, then it's just a trial of you to, share, to find out who you really are. If 
he own the gold and the silver. So what do you think you're doing? When he said give. Now, the word of God says give and what will happen? Come on. Give and what will happen? Now, when did he start? Give and what shall be given unto you. So the person who refused to give has short access to receive. It says, give and it shall be given unto you. Most of the time we focus on the other part. We don't focus on this first part. It says, give. When you give, your hands are open. And it shall be given unto you. Now what will be given unto you is good measure. Press down. This is the Lord Jesus speaking. Good measure, press down, shaking together. And what? Running over shall what? Men give. Now look at it. Go back to the scripture. You know, that's the way I look at scriptures. If you are studying scripture, please spend some good time and let the Spirit speak to your heart. All right? He said, then the people rejoiced. They were rejoicing for one thing. Then the people rejoiced because this had given willingly. There is something very unusual in their giving. They are giving willingly for with a whole and blameless heart. They had offered freely to the Lord with a whole and blameless heart. They offered. If you think this was the time that they are going to give and then they will sing your praises, it's a waste of time. But rather they rejoiced that they were given the privilege to give. Look at it again. They did that with a blameless heart. They had offered freely. Nobody forced them. Freely to the Lord. Now, please, when we had to have any program here, we had never been stranded for once. Never. Some people may think, oh, because of the persons that are, no, never. Sometimes it is shocking what comes from those who are just sitting. It is shocking. The last event, we had an amazing and glorious impact upon souls. And some may be thinking the money came from somewhere. But amazingly, they were young, desperate, passionate people longing to be a blessing. And God used every one of them. Amazing. And not for once did we come out to say, oh, please, it is time to give. Not for once. For the three days. But at the end of the meeting, every need that need to be met was met. When God gives you the privilege to be part of what he is doing, please don't you take it for granted. Be careful because it can just it can live. 
it is a great privilege to have you guys. To have those who, you know, some people are surprised. See, from these guys, yes. Some of them, it doesn't look like, some of the people that God used, it doesn't look like them. But God did amazing things. Amazing things. People who brought in in hundreds of thousands and millions. Yes. Amazing. God would always look for souls that are seeking to bring him glory. Not for any other thing. These guys, they rejoice. Their joy were overflowing because they had the opportunity to give. And look at this. They had offered freely to the Lord. To whom are you giving? Some people think they are giving to somebody standing up there. To whom are you giving? Thank you, Jesus. King David also rejoiced greatly. So King David was there. He gave. What he gave was recorded. But there were several others who gave. And like in this place, there are several others who gave. And it is possible there are persons who walked in and walked out not because they don't have, but simply because they were put, mounting a guard over what they had. And they guarded it in and they guarded it out. Nobody was after what you had. You guarded it in, you guarded it out. The person who block what he owns. Also conceal himself from receiving. Oh, you didn't see that. The person who block, you, you blocked everything you, you own. It is, it, is, it is safe. Yes. It is secured. But you also sealed up access to receiving. Don't make the mistake. You can succeed to seal up all you had, and I'm telling you, you can seal it up. You can go in and go out. But then you seal it up from anything having access. If you blocked it, it is blocked. I won't talk much more than that. In verse number 10, therefore, David blessed the Lord because all the blessing, I mean all the assembly, I take that again, all the assembly. Why, why would he come to that point and begin to bless the Lord? He blessed the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Beyond imagination and calculation, he began to give him praise. He began to give him worship. He began to adore him. He blessed the King of Glory, the Lord of Hosts. Therefore, David blessed the Lord before all the assembly and said, be praised. 
I don't know how many of us actually take our time to really praise him. It is not the time to show who you think you are. It's not the time to look at others. How many of us in the we just finished a finished a moment of worship? How many of us really praised him? How many of us were running a kind of uh, okay, you were trying to check whether this guy got it right? Look at it. Therefore, David. Sometimes when I stop and make uh, mention of certain things, it looks like, why is he repeating it? You need to see this. Look at it again. Therefore, David. Each time I look at the word, it seems to have so much of depth of revelation and we can expound it. Therefore David blessed the Lord before all the assembly and said, be praised. And after, be, after the word be praised, there's a comma. Be praised. Adored. I'm reading Amplified. Be praised, adored, and thanked, O Lord, the God of Israel, our forefather, forever and ever. In other words, you're worthy of all the praise, worthy of all the glory, honor and adoration. We give them back to you forever and ever. Father, we adore you for who you are forever and ever. Verse 11 says, Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heavens and the earth is yours. There is no doubt about that. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord, and yours it is to be exalted as head over all. Yours it is. Please look at, look at that scripture. It is yours, O Lord. It belongs to him. One thing I'm getting so conscious of now is the Lord owned the gold, the silver, the diamond. And he's just looking at us, waiting to see what we will do if they are given to us. And so we are giving access to hold cash that is not gold or silver. And we cannot even release the cash If your hands are tied on cash, then what will happen if you have to hold gold? Or better still, diamond. The God of the heaven and the earth, the creator of every single thing on the face of the earth, is asking you to give. How much do you think you want to give? To who are you giving it? God Almighty?
Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I hear that. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The elders and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. When you sing amazing songs, first of all, those songs are written by deep inspiration from people who love the Lord. Right? But when you sing amazing songs, when you are completely taken by the song, does it seal you up? Does it seal up access into your pocket? When somebody had this privilege to have a walk with the Almighty God, please don't toy with it. That you have this access to the King of Glory, please don't toy with it. It may look so ordinary, it may look so normal. Please don't toy with it. There are access. Many people have had access into wealth. And they think it had to do with their, their understanding, their knowledge. Whatever they think they, they have. It is just Access and serious, serious, very serious check is being made, it's being done about you. What is he going to do with ten thousand dollars? Oh, what about ten thousand pounds? What about 10,000 gold? What is he going to do? Beloved, ask yourself, what is it that we are fighting about? What is it? Some persons couldn't, they couldn't go through yesterday without struggling to keep some money. You're struggling. There's much more. There's much more concerning your life. There's much more. Give him everything. Be free. Don't let nothing hold you. Release your heart. Release everything. Love him with everything. Can you be trusted to worship him in spirit and in truth? Can you truly come and lift up your hand? When you lift up your hands in worship, you are seeing, you are seeing everything. All that I am, all that I have, everything is open to you. When you do this, is it true? Can the Lord have access to what you have in your heart right now? Things in your heart. The Lord has power, you know, has your power to break through, but He's waiting for you. What is it that you have concealed? 
What is it that you have held? Then you can break loose and set free. Please, don't miss this opportunity. So much is happening in the realm of the natural. But beyond the natural is the spiritual realm. Take a look at your life. He has much more. The elders and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you Lord. Look at this. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heavens and the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O oh Lord, and yours it is to be exalted as head over all. When you open up your mouth and you begin to worship him, you're beginning to obey a simple response, but you can decide to hold back. You can decide to be angry. You can decide to just hold it back. The only thing that you have created is you seated there covered with that ugly wrap all over you. You may think, oh, I have succeeded in showing how displeased I am. You just shown an ugly, really ugly, very, very ugly dimension of you. Please, when you have the opportunity to worship him, please worship him. You know, it, it, a number of worship experience has too many human beings standing in between. Many years back, many, many years back, I mean many, many, many years back, and we're talking about many years back, you're talking about 80s, all right? 80s. I mean 1980s, many years back. When you go to church to worship, it wasn't now that you jump and shout and sing praises. No. It was something else. But in that funny looking atmosphere, now when it comes to worship, people don't clap and jump and shout back then. Okay. <laughs> Some of you may understand. Back then. All right. And you just stand and the offering bowl pass. You know, they just pass you by and you say that you give or you don't and that's it. These are the years I'm talking about many years back. So many people missed God. But in that kind of funny looking atmosphere, somebody going in, smiling, rejoicing, full of the glory of God. It looked like something is wrong with the person. The elders and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. 
you may be looking at yourself, what do I have to give him glory? First and foremost, you have yourself. Do you give him the worship that he deserves from the depths of your heart? This is not a meeting organized to raise funds. No. Do you worship him first and foremost from the depths of your heart? Do you have the flow of the river of God flowing from inside? And when you lift up your hands, is the glory of God made manifest? Do somebody come in contact with the glory coming in contact with you? Is there something very extraordinary about your life? Is the glory of God evident in your being? Please, don't miss this opportunity. I'm taking a lot of time, giving you a lot of time to process and think about the words that you are hearing. Please don't mess up this opportunity. I don't know what is happening to you. I don't know what is the struggle on the inside. I don't know how often you have come to the point when you lift up your hands. And it's truly, you see, when, a, when somebody's worshiping him, what do people see? When you worship him with hands lifted, it is saying everything, body, soul, and spirit belongs to you. Everything. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, body, soul, and spirit belongs to you. I am yours. Do what you will. I am yours. Do we really come to worship? Do we really have the opportunity to worship completely taken? Do you know what it means to come into the presence of God and lift up your hands? I lift my hands up, you are Lord God. I lift my hands up to receive love. I lift my hands. There's something about that song. I lift my hands. Lord, receive. Holy, holy, you are Lord. Oh my. Those who, are, those who are, are on the microphone, come quick. I just feel that. Holy, holy, you are Lord. You are worthy to receive. Sing it again. Holy, holy, you are Lord Almighty. You are worthy to receive all praise. Holy, holy, you are Lord Almighty. You are worthy to receive. 
I lift my hands. Come on, come on. You are Lord God. I lift my hands up to receive the praise. I lift my hands up. Come on, come on. You are Lord God. I lift my hands up. To receive the praise. Come on. I lift my hands. You are Lord God. I lift my hands. Lord, receive the praise. I lift my hands. You are Lord. I lift my hands up. Lord, Lord receive the praise. Holy, 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 you Lord, mighty. You are worthy to receive all praise. You deserve the glory, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy to receive. Sing it again. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. The Lord Almighty. You. Is the Lord oh, Almighty? You are worthy to receive. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I lift my hands up. You are Lord God. I lift my hands up. Come on. Lord, receive. The praise I lift my hands up. You are Lord God. I lift my hands up. Lord, receive the praise. You know, sometimes just singing songs like this, some people may be thinking, oh, this guy, he took us some time to write some amazing song if only you know the thing flows from the presence of God and it flows in and we worship him as we begin to worship him the glory flows in and the name of the Lord our God is mightily exalted Glorified, magnified, lifted high. Glorified, magnified, and lifted high. Who is there like unto you, God Almighty? Among the gods, there's no one like you. Glorious in holiness. Jesus. Glorious in holiness. Always doing wonders. Always. Always you are doing wonders. Always. Who is there like unto you, Lord God Almighty? Among the gods, among the gods, there's no one like you. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Always you're doing wonders. Come on, somebody go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Go ahead and worship him. 
is worthy, he's worthy to be praised. King of kings, Lord of lords, almighty God, you are worthy of the praise, worthy of the glory, worthy of the honor. Redeemer, you are worthy of the praise, worthy of the glory, worthy of the honor. Who is there like unto you, God Almighty? Jesus, Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, who is there like unto you, Lord God Almighty? Among the gods, there's none like unto you. You stand out alone as God. You are God all by yourself. All the praise, the glory, the honor, the worship, and adoration belongs to you. They belong to you. They belong to you. We demand they belong to you. We give you everything. All that we are, we give you everything. Oh Lord, forgive us for not being careful enough to give you all the glory. Forgive us for thinking that somebody is so mindful of us and we get carried by people being mindful of us. Lord, have mercy on us. Help us fix our eyes on you. Hmm. Help us walk with you that we may see your name glorified and magnified. Help us, Lord God Almighty, that we may see the worship given to you as worthy, worthy of your praise. You are worthy of the glory, worthy of the honor and the praise who is there like unto you. Now let me tell you, some time ago, in a meeting like we are gathered and we are worshipping him. And I saw, I, I talked about this, not, the presence I saw. And I made the mystic to talk about what I, I saw. The presence. The glory of God is more real than you can think more real than you can imagine. Come on, talk to him. We are done. Talk to him. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Pour your heart to him. La pronto cosica li amanda la macos kenderi alante. Li pranta gabali abanto ri abranda. Pon your heart to him. I pronto cosica manta la pronto cabala. Precious Jesus. Jesus, the Lamb of God. Worthy is your name, you are Jesus, Lamb of God. Worthy is your name, you are Jesus. Something good is happening. The Lamb of God, worthy is your name. You are Jesus, 
the Lamb of God. Oh, what is your name? Somebody will walk out of this place into God's presence. Somebody is going to walk out of this place filled with the blessing and the glory of God beyond imagination and calculation. Somebody, you're going to walk out and see that the moment you spent here had been invested. The glory, the anointing of God has completely made useless the work of the enemy. He who had been he who had been the reason why your heart has been completely taken will do great and mighty things. Great and mighty things. Somebody is believing him for something, just thank him by faith. Come on, go ahead and thank him by faith. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I seek. You are my all in all. Jesus. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Love to give up, I'll be a fool. You are my all in Oh, your name is Jesus. You are the Lamb of God. Your Lord, what is your name? Your name is Jesus. You are the Lamb. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Amazing, amazing. The presence of God, the anointing is heavy upon somebody right now. Amazing. Precious, amazing is the presence. And you won't go back the same. If anybody's going back the same, not you. You're not going back the same. Ma brondo kusi kandia bronda. La pronte kisi kinderia brande. You're not going back the same. Oh Jesus, Savior, Master, Redeemer. Jesus, Savior, Master, Redeemer. You are not going back the same way you came. It is impossible. It is impossible. He is mightily at work. Precious Jesus. Precious Lord. Awesome Redeemer. Do what nobody else can do. Oh, somebody give him praise. You know he has done it. You know you sense in your spirit something glorious has begun. Something beautiful has begun. Somebody, you're going to share a beautiful testimony after, after this meeting. It has to do with what had just taken place right now. You're going to share a beautiful testimony. At the right time, I'm just beginning for somebody. You're going to share at the right time. But it's going to be connected to this moment. For God Almighty, only He deserves the glory. Not me, only He deserves the glory. Oh no. And the praise. Blessed be your name. Come on, go ahead and give Him praise. Thank Him for what He has done. Thank Him because He is mightily at work. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Let the name of the Lord be exalted. He is worthy to be praised and adored. Bible says, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, 
The name of the Lord is to be praised. As we worship him on this realm called earth. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised and adored. The name of the Lord is worthy to be praised and adored. Thank him for all he has done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Redeemer. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. All the glory, all the honor, the praise, the worship. For everyone who walked in here today with a heart focused on the Lord, for everyone who came in here today longing for him, the master. For everyone who came in here seeking for him. The glory of the Lord is resting. The glory of the Lord is heavy upon you. I don't care what it looks like. Live with this knowing with this in your spirit, knowing this, the Lord has done what no one else can do. Of course, when it is the Lord, no one else can do it. The Lord our God has done what no man can do. An amazing testimonies. Amazing testimonies. Testimonies. When people will hear of what God has done, when people will hear it, they will be completely taken aback. People will be completely mesmerized. For the Lord has done great things. Great things. Great things. For it's worthy to be praised. Lord, to you be the praise, the glory, the honor, and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done. It is well with our bodies. It is well with our souls. It is well with our spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord our God lift up his good countenance upon you. Grant you his peace now and forevermore. And somebody note this. You are going back a completely different person. The glory of God will be evident upon your life. Even if, if you can't see it, it will become something that others will begin to see. And they will give glory and praise unto God. Somebody you are going to go out with amazing testimony. You are living here with the presence of God. Hanging, flowing through your life. In Jesus name.